Welcome back, New York's finest, to the Parasite Eve Let's Play. I'm S Officer Scott, and this is the Scott Spot. Alright, so last time, um, we came and explored the backstage area and the dressing room hallway, um, to try and find any survivors and locate, uh, Melissa, the actress who apparently caused everybody to catch on damn fire. And so yeah, we're just working our way through the rooms. We got a theater key, so we're unlocking uh, rooms we couldn't get into necessarily before. Looks like we got some kind of prop storage room here. Got a knight in shining armor. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. This is a actually a defense plus one. Um, and what these items do, you, there's like offense plus one, defense plus one, etc., etc. Um, basically, you use them on your armor. So now I will um, be able to use this on my invest, which I assume is normal vest, and now it is one defense point uh, stronger. By the way, there also could have been possibly been an offense plus one in that chest. Can I open anything in here? Pretty sure you can open this cabinet. Yeah, here we go. And there was a rat that was apparently waiting to mutate in size to be released first. Because, you know, it can control that, apparently. By the way, I uh, don't think I've demoed um, he using Parasite Energy yet. So let's go ahead and use Heal 1. You can see at the bottom right there, it shows me how much Parasite Energy will be used um, if I do so. However, Parasite Energy gradually um, recharges as um, automatically. And you can see it's recharging pretty quickly. However, the more you use Parasite Energy in a battle, the less quickly it charges, I believe. So keep an eye out for that. Alrighty. Anything in here? Now, I believe there is something like in actually inside this cabinet, but it's a little hard to finagle out of there. The game's pretty picky about what counts. Okay, so we got a P220 handgun. And I believe that it is stronger than our current weapon. Yes, um... Uh, it can hold one less bullet in the chamber. That's I'll, that's a good trade-off for three plus attack and an extra four range. So I'll equip that. But wait, there's more in this room. Let's go ahead and examine this wall. That's odd. This wall looks like it's about to crumble. And looks like there was some kind of secret room back here. They must have cemented over it or something. You even got like a skeleton and a moon prop back here. But there is a chest that contains... An end protector, which is another armor thing. And it looks like it is slightly stronger. Um, now, I'm not sure if it would have been wiser to move over, use the defense plus one on this thing, knowing that we're going to get it almost immediately. But there is a way to move over um, bonuses from uh, old weapons and armor to new weapons and armor. So that kind of keeps you f or encourages you to use those offense and defense plus items um, as you find them. Also, I'm not sure if I mentioned, I said there you could find a defense plus one or an offense plus one in this chest. A lot of the chest contents are randomized. It's usually either between two items, but um, which one you get is just random. Okay, so we're done in that room. Let's head into this one now. Door unlocked, of course. Okay, this looks like some, some kind of set storage room. There's a chest down here, so be wary of that. My inventory is full. Okay, so we've run into our first inventory is full problem. So I'm going to put a medicine in there. And there was a medicine one inside, so there's literally like no reason for me to even open that. Is there anything I can use? It doesn't look like it. So, as much as it pains me, I'm going to have to leave a bunch of chests um, unopened in this game. But that's why they let you put other items in there, because they knew inventory management was part of the game. I believe, yeah, there's another battle trigger here. We got two rats and a parrot. Interesting. Who knows why they were keeping so many damn parrots? I wonder, like, what kind of play were they trying to do? This thing could die. I probably should have just used one bullet on it, but oh well. Maybe I can make up for it. Shit, the parrot got me. And, yep, I missed. Oh well. 
fight the parrot. And we get a level up. We are now level 4. Parasite powers have evolved. We can now use scan, which allows us to analyze enemies' HP and weakness. Next battle, I will attempt to use that. We got a bunch of ammo and some medicine. Okay. So now, let's keep going out of this door. So it looks like that room, yeah, unlocked. That room sort of connected to this other door out here. Alright, I think we've been through all the three doors on the southern end of the hall. By the way, I miss you, Bozo. Now I think we want to go... Oh, battle first. Alright, let me test out scan here. And my parasite energy is fully restored from that uh, earlier heal. Now scanning has revealed that they have 12 HP each. They are susceptible to poison, so there are status effects in this game. And easily tranquilized, and I think I canceled out whatever else it was going to tell us. Goodbye. And we get 12 bullets, which is lovely. Okay, I think that this the door at the end of the hall and this one are the only ones we haven't been in. Unlock the door. Ooh, this must be like the lead actress's dressing room. It's a nice room. For one person, I mean, damn. There is a... Six bullets in here. Okay, um... Bef and then to move the story along, we actually need to read this uh, book on the vanity. But before I do that, I want to make sure I have at least one open item spot. Because we get an item from reading it, and you have to rewatch basically the whole scene if you can't pick it up. Alright, but I do like this scene, so let's read. A diary? November 3rd, Monday. The Christmas show is set. This has been my dream. Alright, I'm going to switch to Melissa's voice now. The main actress has a solo concert at the theater in Central Park. I, look all that I took all that medication to get here. I have to get the lead part. I'll even sell my soul to the devil if I have to. It's foreboding. Oh, I love this music track. November 17th, Monday. The cast was announced, and Suzanne and I are double cast. Remember, Suzanne is the woman that uh, also died. I want to play the part alone, but everyone knows she's good. November 21st, Friday. I think I'm overdoing it. My body is getting hotter than ever for some reason. I'd better take more medicine. Sounds familiar? December 6th, Saturday. I collapsed today. I lost consciousness after my body got hot. I don't care if I die. I just want to get through this show. And she's been working towards this for a long time. December 10th, Wednesday. I passed out again. They told me to go to the doctor and get some rest. If this continues, Suzanne will definitely take my part. It's like that's all she cares about. I need to get better. I better take a lot of medication tonight. The fact that she took all this medication is going to be important to the story way later. December 11th, Thursday. Suzanne was burned in an apartment fire. Is it because I wanted the part so bad? God, forgive me. December 17th, Wednesday. It looks like I'll be the lead. I better take more medication and work it. December 23rd, Tuesday, so the day before the, to this day. Opening night. Everything went smoothly. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. We should have the biggest crowd of the season. And I have the solo concert the next day at the park. But I'm not feeling well. I'd better shape up if I want to get through this. I'd better take more medication. For what? Why is she talk taking so much? She must have a drug problem. I know how it never says what the medication is. Adderall? <laughs> Another key? We get the rehearsal room key. Alright, that'll come in handy. I think that will unlock the door at the end of the hall for us. But before I do that, I actually want to attempt to um, level up to level 5. So I'm just going to pass between the trigger points here. Go 
through that one triggered point and then go through this room since that's the other possible location for uh, the other possible location for encounters here. I didn't trigger it. Alas. So then I'll go back north to see if I can't trigger that rap battle again. Not rap battle, rat battle. Negative. Alright, and then I'm just going to go in here and then go back out and repeat that loop until I can get into battle. So, stand by while I do that. Because I imagine it's probably going to take a couple battles to level up to level 5. Alright, it turns out that I only needed one more battle. You can see I'm at level 5 now and my stats have been up to, uh, a little bit. So let me go back to this room and save real quick before I continue onward. Not that I'm too worried. Get out of the way, dead body. Bacon. I'll call again. and save. Bing bang boom, that's how you do it. Alright, do I have time to continue on a little bit more? I think that I do. Okay, this should be interesting then. Let's do it. Through this door. Unlock the door. Rehearsal. This must be where they like practice dances and stuff. Oh, and Melissa's playing the piano. By the way, the that piano medley that she's playing is a uh, not medley, uh, melody is like the piano solo version of the main theme of the game. I'm um, Melissa. I'm um, no. I'm. Um, I... I am... I... am... Eve. Uh, I'm... I'm getting hot! Nucleic domination has finally come to an end, once and for all. What? I think Eve just won control over Melissa. Once again. The day for the mitochondria to be free has finally arrived. And now we have our first, well I wouldn't say our first fight against Eve, but our first legitimate fight. Oh, I actually dodged it. Yeah, you gotta, like, to dodge her beam attack, you sort of have to, like, stand between the two beams and move with them. It's kind of difficult, though. And... Oh, jeez. Yeah, see, I kind of ran into it there. If you get too close to her, she might also swap at you with her, uh, gigantic man hands. Ooh, got a critical hit there. I'll take it. Damn it, I ran the wrong way. I have, like, no idea what which way she's gonna move the beam. And I got her. Looks like you still need some time, girl. What a cool design for the main villain. Don't you think? Until your mitochondria is completely free. Mitochondria? What are you saying? I don't understand you. Looks like we're having another... Hospital flashback. That's the little girl that we saw uh, when we first jumped down. What? Where is this? Is that... Is that the little girl I saw? No, it's... Stranger danger. 
that doctor. Wait. You want to let us into what you're thinking, Aya? Because we're clueless. And that gave Eve the time she needed to get out of Dodge. Mitochondria. To be free? It's biology class all over again. Man, lots of mirrors in this game. Or in this area, anyway. But anyway, you may wonder where to go now. But if you go behind the piano here, there's another hole. And I guess uh, Eve went down further. We will have to ex jump, drop down and explore it next time. Hope you guys are continuing to enjoy Parasite Eve. I'll catch you next time, New Year's Finest, at the Scott Spot. New Year's Finest? New York's Finest. <laughs>